Hey, welcome to the banner management for WooCommerce plugin. So in this video, I will show you how to configure the banner and slider with different WooCommerce pages and common pages, including product and category slider. So let's get started. So after activating the plugin, you redirect on the screen. And here in the global setting, you can configure the different WooCommerce pages. So for example, if you want to set banner on the shop page, so just enable and here you can select the type of banner single or multiple so we can continue with the uh, multiple and set here as a on top here you can display option like random slider or you want to display as a navigation and after that you just need to upload your all the banner that you want to display so i just selected this randomly and if you want to add banner link you can go with here and let's see just update the setting and the banner is ready so let's say press the soft page to get an idea how it will look like so you can see here is displayed the banners that we have configured over here so that this way we can configure the soft banner and as well as if you have any card page banner checkout thank you banner you can do it from here in all the same settings so next we can see the global settings so here in the global setting if you want to display the banner size in different way like 50 percent 70 percent then you can do this setting from here and then after we can also set the product banner like uh, for example if we go as of now on any product for example let's open so you can see there is no any banner on this page but if you want to enable for banner you can do it from here like page banner and product banner so if you enable you can set the individual for each product but if you want to set the quick you can just select here single or multiple and just upload the banner whatever you want to upload and it will be available this banner for all the product by default so let's save and see so refresh so you can see this banner is available over here but if this banner is you want to display above here there is the also provided an option like display on the top so if you select this and it will be available above the breadcrumb so let's refresh so you can see it's available here and for the individual product banner you can go inside e edit page and you can set there so this way you can configure on the product page on the category page banner tag page banner on any screen so let's now move on the another section like sliders so in the slider there is very easy way you can configure the category slider or product slider so let's see the product slider so here you need to select the type of slider like a slider grid or block and on based on that you need to select specific categories so in the slider you just need to select the categories like accessories is whatever you have man so i select few categories and after selecting those categories you just need to click over here in the preview so you can see it's create the preview like uh, whatever we option selected here and if you were to display simply as the slider you can just click here and just click update the preview and you can see it's created the slider with uh, all category that you have selected and after saving you just need to copy the the short code and it will be enabled on any page so let's now move with the another options like display options you can display the title like uh, recent categories and there are also many advanced sections you can set the content position say other advanced setting if you want to display the shop now on the category page with different color setting and you can show the preview you can see the shop now this way you can also set the image thumbnail settings, slider settings, speed of the slider, typography, etc. So let's move on the another one is product slider. So in the product slider, you can configure the same setting, but in that it will display all the products that you have selected. So right now I will select only specific category. So for example, I am selecting one category and just click on the preview. So you can see it display all the products from these hoodies categories and it steady the slider with different options that we have configured in the display option 
thumbnail setting, slider settings, typography, this all the apply on the slider. So after configuring all the settings, you just need to click on the cell slider. Like here you need to add a title like Codis with latest arrival and just save and it will be ready the slider with short code so as you can see just click copy slider and this short code we can display on any page so let's go like uh, this is the sample page let's add over here so i just added short code over here update and view preview so you can see it's available the slider over here and you can click on next and previous and a slider is displayed as we have seen in the preview so yes this way you can configure the banner management on different pages on different products etc so you can review this plugin and configure the setting from your end and uh, i hope this is helpful to you